Welcome everyone to ITD Gaming News. This is the Appetizers Edition. We're going to talk about the somewhat win that Epic got over Apple. And when I say somewhat, I'm just barely meaning somewhat because they won like one out of like 10 of their lawsuits that was against Apple. So in this episode, we're going to talk about that little bit of a landmark decision that was basically, uh, you know, that they won. I mean, it's a big win if you think about it. So basically they lost pretty much everything except for the one where Apple requires them to, that all in-game purchases are through their store. So they pretty much are not allowed to do that is basically what this ruling is saying that, that customers are allowed to do in, they're allowed to do purchases that are not through the Apple store. So I can buy a $20 Fortnite card from somewhere else and import those currency into the game on Apple's devices. They won all, they lost all the others, which means Apple won all of them. So, you know, it's a win, win, it's a win lose situation, right? Epic was overreaching by trying to um, bring up some of the other things such as their own uh, pay store through Apple, et cetera, and stuff like that. So, so the judge basically said that Epic has got to pay back some of the money that they, uh, I think it was 30% of the $12 million that they collected from iOS users um, between August and October of 2020 um, because of what they did was against uh, the developer agreements. But like I said, they did win where it says that they have, that, that, it, that Apple cannot require that all purchases go through their app store, the Apple store. So they can use other payment methods. It, basically, the judge is saying that Apple was being anti-competitive with this, um, which, you know, in my opinion, it is. They already, Apple already gets um, excessive amounts of fees and upwards of like 30% for all transactions. And they penalize companies for doing things that they don't think are right they think is right. So, you know, it's a win lose situation. I do think that Epic was overreaching for what they were asking for. Um, and, and then they got smacked down for it. Obviously they have to give up 30% of the $12 million they earned. So they are getting somewhat smacked down. Um, you know, so it's kind of a weird situation. It's like I said, Apple won most of the, basically most of the suits uh, that Epic brought against them, but Epic won a decent one. It's, uh, one, in my opinion, that's good for all gamers and not necessarily just Epic. So Epic basically opened the door for other developers to be able to say, I don't have to push my transactions through the iOS store now. Uh, I can have in-game currency bought through somewhere else. So let's kind of dive into this one and see what everybody else thinks about this one. Uh, Nick, what are your thoughts on this decision that was made today um, in federal courts? Yeah, I mean, it, it, ultimately, it's good for the gamer, right? Uh, it's going to breed competition between Apple and Epic uh, for, you know, the consumer's dollar. So I think you're going to see a lot more of Apple and Epic putting in discounts and lower prices for these things. So that way, you know, they, they that breeds the competition, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a good thing. You know, I mean, these are all billion dollar companies, so they're really not out anything. But it is good for the gamer in this sense where Apple's not taking in all of the income and taking in all of the transactions and saying that my store is the only store you can shop at. Now you have, uh, now you're going to have two stores that you can shop at and they're going to compete with each other for the lowest price, right? To get that consumer in the door. So I think ultimately it's going to be great for the, for the users, uh, for the, uh, for the gamers out there. Um, where they can basically pick and choose who they want to go with, you know, um, do they want to buy through Apple? Do they want to buy through Epic? Who's, who's providing the best, uh, uh, customer service or best uh, consumer rate for, for, for me. Right. Uh, and you can mix and match and, you know, if one has a sale and one doesn't or vice versa, you know, you can choose which one you go through. So that's great. Um, so yeah, I mean, ultimately what came down for this for me is, you know, <laughs> sorry for the billion dollar companies out there at Epic and Apple. I think it'll be OK. Uh, but for the consumer, it's a win win. Right. They won on this one, um, and especially for this particular lawsuit and for particularly when the Epic won in this case, uh, they won the gamer won, and they're going to have more choice as far as what route they want to go with. So I think it's good for them. Uh, what do you think, Shane? I don't think a damn bit of it matters. I think Apple will file an appeal. 
Apple will win or lose. Don't give a shit because it doesn't help the gamers, in my opinion. Uh, I think Epic will do what Epic does, make bank after bank after bank. Apple will do what Apple does, milk people to death day after day for the same product they've been putting out day after freaking day. Um, I think uh, it is nice to see a feather get ripped out of Apple's hat and shoved up their butt once, but Epic's or Apple's going to just, they're just going to peel it and most likely they'll win the appeal. They've got, they've got more bank in this than Epic. And I think Epic will, uh, end up coming to the table with them once at some point. It depends on how many appeals are filed. Uh, but, you know, that's just, you know, my opinion. I'm not a legal expert, but I do know uh, Apple is a shit company that doesn't care about consumers, and they have the money to not care. So, big deal for them. It's really, it's, it's all about name right now for Apple. They don't care about the money. They don't care about that 30%. They care about their name. That's it to me. In my opinion, it's not about the money. It's about them being bigger than everybody else. Uh, Epic, uh, good for them for winning the battle, at least, well, you know, winning a little battle. You know, the war they got, you know, their asses handed to them. But uh, I do like the fact that uh, they did win one. Um, it does sound like it could be good news for the uh, gamers, but I, I just don't see it. And that's just my opinion, though. Right. I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, really, when you think about it, you could it, it is it is good for gamers, I'm saying, because as Nick pointed out beforehand, let's just take Fortnite, for example, because Epic is do is suing them basically because of Fortnite. You know, um, Epic didn't want to pay the 30 percent to Apple for its users to purchase V-Bucks, which is the the currency in Fortnite. So they basically went and said that they were I think they were going to give a discount, I think is what it was. Um, they offered discounts to people to buy V bucks outside of the Apple store. So Apple basically, you know, fired back and removed their application from the store in, in Korea, I believe it was. Um, and so, you know, basically that was a, uh, that's kind of where they got smacked down a little bit from, uh, the lawsuit because the judge basically says, you can't do that. You develop, you, you basically, um, broke the terms of agreement, right? And so what they should have done was they should have challenged it in the court first before they did it. But since they asked for forgiveness instead of permission, the judge pretty much smacked their head and said, you need to give up 30 percent of that revenue. So that's what they had to do. But they made 12 million dollars outside of what um, Apple had. So because you can't get a disc, I mean, you could get a discount, but you have to lower your price. And then Apple steals 30 percent of it if they go through there. So, I mean, I see this as a win for Epic. Maybe not so much for the consumer unless. Epic could say, you know, or other consumers would say, hey, if you want to purchase currency in our game, let's say, for example, as a developer, I want to, you want to get five dollars worth of our developer currency, our game currency. We want that five bucks. So for us to get it, I'm now going to have to increase it by 30 percent so that Apple can steal their 30 percent. So it may or may not trickle down. We don't know. It you know, uh, Epic was giving discounts outside of the Apple store. So, you know, but basically the lawsuit now stipulates that Apple can no longer dictate the purchases made in apps on its own device, go through the app store. So now they can go through the Epic wherever to purchase V-Bucks or any other product. Now, if you play online games with their device, you don't have to go through their app store and they can take 30 percent at that point. So it's more money in the developer or the product's hands rather than Apple's hands. because. Apple's already making some money. Um, you know, I think that's a good thing. It it rests some control away from these giant corporations such as Apple and Google because this will filter down to them as well, I imagine. If they have some of the same practices, which I'm not sure they do or don't, I'm not looking too much into what Google does with game developers or app developers or anybody that has in-app purchases. They're pretty much going to have to rule, go by the same ruling. So I think we're we're finding that this is helping out the smaller guys because Epic is nowhere near the size of Apple. <laughs> you know, so it's helping them. Uh, if it's to help the consumer, that's to be seen. You know, we don't know yet. Yeah. Uh, what was it? 12 million in three months, August through October, right? 
I think that was right. Uh, I'm trying to find them the numbers now. It was twelve million dollars. Yeah, so it was August. It was August, between August and October in 2020. So twelve million dollars. That's a lot of V bucks on a. Uh, that's only on iOS Apple yep. devices. That's not counting your Xbox, your PlayStation, your PC. That's just yep. anything purchased through iOS. That's a lot of money, and no wonder everybody's after some of that Fortnite money, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's what my point was. Uh, you know, I one of the reasons I really don't think it's going to help gamers overall. I think, I think um, Epic could turn around and say, "All right, so now you guys can buy through us if you'd like." It's going to be the same price. I don't know. I mean, they're just going to say, "Now you don't have to deal with them bastards at Apple." We I think it'll be more like Green Man Gaming and some of those places that buy things in bulk, and they can say, "Okay, we bought." 12 million V bucks or whatever they bought. Who cares what it is? We bought, we bought a million V bucks and now we're going to offer it at 30% discount because we got a 40% discount to buy all these, you know, I mean, who knows? Because I mean, there are game companies, there are companies out there like green man gaming and others that do things like this. They do volume purchase discounting and you can get things for cheaper. So, I mean, why not? Right. If there's companies out there that are willing to do that, they're willing to say, I'll get a 30% discount. And I'm going to pass 20% on to you if you buy from me because we don't need as much money as Epic or, or Apple or any of these other guys want. Or Walmart. You can start selling V-Bucks in Walmart, right? And you can take that card and you can scan in the, the, you, the code in the, in the app in the game or wherever. And Apple or nobody can be none the wiser. They can't say you can't do that now. So, I mean, in some extent, I think it has to benefit the gamers, but maybe not in as a large amount as we're thinking or that it, you know, it could be if companies weren't greedy, right? $12 million yeah. dollars over the course of three months and just iOS alone. That's a lot. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hopeful that it breeds competition between all these places, you know, between Apple and Epic and, and, and everywhere else it can go, um, which would be beneficial to the gamer, right? Uh, the bottom dollar for the better, you know, going for the better uh, a team, I guess, in that case. But, you know, they are billion dollar companies. I mean, Apple is definitely probably has more capital than Epic does, but Epic's definitely making hand over fist every year. So, you know, and, and all in all, it like Shane said, it could just not be for nothing, you know, and these two companies just continue to, you know, screw over, screw over the, the average gamer. So well, it's, for what I, we'll have yeah. to see what happens. From what I read in the article too, there's a couple of other smaller, um, similar lawsuits that are now just basically going to get their win because it's already been ruled that this can happen. So, I mean, pretty much Epic won the little piece that they were, that they initially asked. They really initially did before asking for permission, you know? So they won, but they lost because they went ahead and, you know, they basically did what everybody else says, you know, either, either, ask for forgiveness or ask for permission. They just decided to ask for forgiveness. And the judge was like, no, give up 30% of your $12 million because you violated the terms of the agreement. So that's really where it is. They violated the agreement when they shouldn't have, they should have done what was right in the first place. Um, but from what I understand, the um, they're not being reinstated in Korea still. So, because I think there was a different ruling for that, that thing. So it is what it is. I don't know how much money they're losing by not being in Korea. I imagine there's a lot of Fortnite gamers out there that, are not able to play now. So they're losing out on a huge market of gamers. Yeah. I think worse comes to worse. I think, uh, Epic will end up, or excuse me, Apple will end up saying, all right, we're not going to get our cut. You got to go. We're not going to let you on our platforms. I mean, that's, that's not really hurting Apple too much, well, but that's, but that's going to screw I mean, up. They can't do that now. They can't do that yeah. because they would have to they do can to everybody. Ref- they can refuse a service on their platform. But not on they grounds of a legally, on a legally protected item now. So if, if it no, ever no, got no. out, they that's why they them. prevented them. Yeah, if they, but they, that shit happens all the time. I mean, it's freaking Apple. Saying. They have children make their shit. Do but you think Epic, anybody's going to care? But what I'm saying is that Epic can go to court and say, they refuse to let us be on the iOS mm-hmm. store because we won't let them have money. And if they can prove it, then Apple loses yeah. more money. And I don't think Apple's that dumb, you know. I They're don't getting- know, man. Apple Apple is a seriously greedy bastard company. I mean, also, with this ruling, I think Fortnite brings Apple a lot of money. So even with this ruling, they're like, okay, that's fine. I'll open up my wallet, and here's your $30 billion back, or whatever it was, $30 million or whatever. 
here, here's your money back. It was in my wallet. You know, the rest of my money I keep in the bank, but you know, I keep my 30 million on me. So, <laughs> you know, so I don't think it was any sweat off their back and they're still going to make money off of it regardless of the outcome. Either way, the transaction is pocket change for either one of the companies. Obviously, we just learned True. $12 million for iOS alone for Fortnite in three months. Yep. And that's iOS alone. Imagine the amount of money they're getting on Android, on PlayStation, on Xbox, you know, all these different things, which I'm assuming this ruling is going to go for everybody, right? I don't know if any of the other companies force you to buy their V-Bucks through their platform. Like, I'm pretty sure you can get a car. I don't believe and, so. Yeah, I didn't believe so neither. So, well, all I know is those two billion dollar companies can kiss my ass because I just got a ten dollar Subway gift card from my boss. So, pff. Yeah, who's living the high life? Foot long tonight. That's right. <laughs> He's already That's taken right. two. That's right. The uh, the uh, upscaled uh, meat curtains, as I like to call them. Uh, yeah, all right. Apple's going to appeal for those Subway gift cards. <laughs> they want that ten dollars back, Shane. <laughs> That's right, the bastards. Uh, but, but yeah, like I said, I think it's a win. It's a win and a loss, right? It's a win for in certain aspects and loss in others. And hopefully it pans out for the gamers overall. But we'll we'll soon to be find out. Right. I mean, in my opinion, anything that wrestles complete total control away from one company and spreads the love or the wealth is a good thing, in my opinion. No one company should have total control like that and say, sorry, we're getting all of the money or no money or, you know, whatever. So they should just be able to negotiate the contracts and not just be like Apple and say, you have to sell through our store and only through our store. And we take 30% unless you decide to be snarky and we're going to take 40 or 50%, you know? So it is what it is. So cool. Um, I think we'll probably end up needing to cut this one off before it divulges into uh, another one of Shane's famous EA tirades, but this time with Apple. <laughs> so I said nothing about them. Dirty bastards. <laughs> I know, but Apple is just like EA now, right? They're so horrible. Oh, no. Apple's <laughs> so. a whole different bitch. <laughs> EA's All up right. next on the lawsuit. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, tell us what you think about this lawsuit. You think it was a win or a loss? You know, let us know. Comments, you know, message us, whatever you need to do. We're interested to hear what everybody else thinks. I mean, because we're on the fence on whether this is good for consumers or bad, or if consumers will see anything from it. So we hope you enjoyed this episode, and we hope to catch you in the next. See ya.